I'm Natasha, and in this video I'll show you everything you need to get started building paper circuits, including what materials to use, some example circuits, and some tips and tricks to help you be successful. Let's go! Everything you see in this video is in the Getting Started with Paper Circuits ebook, available at browndoggadgets.com. Circuits have four main components, a power source, wire, outputs, and inputs. For paper circuits, we use coin cell batteries as a power source because they're small and flat. We typically use CR2032 batteries because they're very common, but any 3 volt coin cell battery should work. Most circuits use metal wires to connect components. For paper circuits, we use maker tape, a conductive tape that's made of woven metal fabric with conductive adhesive on the bottom. It's flexible and flat, like paper. It comes in two sizes, one quarter inch and one eighth inch. We use quarter inch tape for paper circuits because components like LEDs are easier to attach with wider tape. The eighth inch tape is great for working in brick-based environments. The output of a circuit is what it does. The example circuits in this video use LEDs as the output, so they light up. Other circuits could vibrate, make noise, or move around. Inputs are ways to interact with a circuit, like buttons and switches. Yes, you can have a circuit with no input, but a string of lights is way better with a switch. Inputs add interactivity and control. Other handy materials to have while building paper circuits is paper, of course, binder clips, scissors, tape, and markers to make your circuits come to life. So let's make some circuits. This is the simplest circuit with a single LED. Print out the templates on cardstock if you can. Thick paper is easier to work with, but printer paper will work in a pinch. Bend the LED legs flat and place them on the paper where shown. The negative leg is shorter and the positive leg is longer. To remember which is which, you could put a small bend in the longer leg to remember that that one's positive when it's bent flat. Maker tape has a white paper backing. Cut a piece to size, then peel off the backing and stick it to the paper. Place maker tape along the top line and over the LED's negative leg, stopping at the spot where the battery goes. Add a loop of maker tape on top of the line of tape, then place the battery on top of it with the positive side of the battery facing up. Place maker tape over the battery and down along the line. Place maker tape across the bottom line and over the positive LED's leg. The LED should light up. We call this the tape loop method of connecting the battery. We also sometimes use the binder clip method. In this method, run the maker tape to the corner of the paper and fold it over the battery. Secure the battery in place with a binder clip. Now, let's make a circuit with two LEDs. You can follow along with the second template in the Getting Started with Paper Circuits ebook, or use the circuit you just made and add to it. Bend the legs of the second LED flat and place it next to the first LED, making sure that the positive side is facing the bottom of the paper. Use pieces of maker tape to secure the LED legs to the circuit. Now you have two lights, but what if you want to control when the LEDs turn on and off? Let's make a paper switch. The third template is similar to the circuit we just made, but there's a break in the maker tape, preventing the flow of electricity. Add maker tape to the flap on the side and fold it where shown. This flap will act as a push button switch. When you push the paper down, the maker tape inside will close the gap in the tape, allowing the electricity to flow and make the LEDs turn on. Here's another fun example switch. For this one, we'll need a brass fastener and a paper clip. Thread the brass fastener through the paper clip and push it through the paper. Turn the paper over and bend the legs flat. Place maker tape along the line and run it over the brass fastener. This will allow the current to flow through the paper clip and also allow the paper clip to move freely. Now, move the paper clip to touch one piece of maker tape or the other to choose which LED you want to turn on. Or leave it in the middle to turn the entire circuit off. Now that you understand the basics of making paper circuits, let's try to change things up a bit. In this example, I used the same simple switch circuit, but instead of LEDs, I used a vibration motor as the output. Now, when I close the switch, the paper vibrates instead of lighting up. With these paper circuit techniques, you can build all kinds of projects. And you can use maker tape on more than just paper. In fact, any flat surface will do. 
This makes it a great material to design circuits on top of craft felt to make wearables, or you could even put it on walls and windows. The possibilities are endless. Stay tuned for more paper circuit ideas, templates, and tutorials at browndoggadgets.com.